Hi, so this is going to be a guide on how to use Audacity to reduce the noise floor of your recording. So at this point, you probably have your recording done and you are, you are about to edit it. Now, before you start editing, what I want you to do is to record the noise floor. So you're just going to press the record button and stay quiet for a moment. Right, so this is about enough. We have our noise floor right here. Uh, using waveform, which we do right now, uh, you can't really see much, so it looks as if there is no noise. But if we go to the spectrogram, uh, it shows us that this is the noise floor, and it's definitely there. So what you want to do now is just click the playback button, and you need to look at this a playback level meter. And it tells us uh, what is the noise uh, floor level. So in my case, it's about minus 55. So it helps a lot when we are applying the noise gate tool, which we will do right now. But before that, I need some copies of my track so you can see the difference. Right, um, so you're going to want to select your audio track and you'll go to effect and Audacity doesn't have a built-in noise gate tool so you would have to download it and install it and I've made a separate video on how to do that but once you have it you click on the noise gate and you're going to want to look at the gate threshold and if my noise floor is at minus 55, uh, I would want to have some headroom and select my gate threshold a bit higher than that. Um, notice that this is a negative quality, so minus 50 is higher than minus 55. Um, so the, the 5 decibels difference is probably going to do fine and minus 50 is going to work. Now once you apply it, you, you can see that it removed all of the noise right here in this part and it removed some of the noise in between uh, me speaking and not all of it. Uh, the thing about noise gate that it starts working once your audio is below the set threshold. So when, when uh, the audio is below minus 50 in my case, uh, minus 50 decibels I mean uh, it starts to kick in and there is a this attack and delay setting so it doesn't start immediately as you can see right here um, it takes some time for it to kick in uh, therefore we still have some residues here um, but uh, essentially it will remove most of the noise in between you speaking but it won't remove any of the noise floor that is apparent when you are speaking so the noise gate tool is really good when your noise floor is not too loud and when you can't hear um, the noise when you are speaking otherwise if your noise floor is really loud maybe you have a very um, loud condenser microphone which has some inherent noise. In that case I would use another tool which is called a noise reduction tool. So we're gonna work with that on this track. With the noise reduction tool you still need to have a um, noise floor, um, this silent part recording. So we're gonna select this part we're going to go to effect. Now Audacity has noise reduction tool already built in so you don't need to uh, download and install it separately. Um, now we selected the audio here and we're going to get a, a noise profile. Now Audacity marked this section of our audio as a noise and now it has this sample and we can remove any audio that is similar to this noise profile 
from all our wall recording. So we're gonna select this track and we again go to effect and noise reduction and these are default settings and they work quite well. So you can leave them at that and you're gonna click OK. And as you can see, it doesn't remove all of this noise floor, but that's okay. You want some of the noise floor there so it sounds more natural. Um, but compared to noise gate, as you can see, it removes um, it removes noise even in the parts where you are speaking. So if you look right here, you can see that there's a slight difference. That's because noise reduction tool works on your vocals as well. Um, what I really don't like about noise reduction tool though is that it uh, will make your audio quality lower. I mean, it will remove some of the frequencies that you want to have in your recording and it may start, your recording may start sounding a bit uh, weird. Um, so I would only apply the noise reduction tool if you really had a strong uh, noise floor. So if it is let's say minus 35 decibels, then I would start looking at applying the noise reduction tool. Otherwise I would stick with the noise gate. But but yeah, that these are two methods you could apply on Audacity to reduce your noise flow. Um, now, once you've done with the noise reduction or noise gate, you can still see that there are still some some noise here left so some odd clicks, you will have to remove them manually though. But I hope this video helps for you to deal with that uh, noise flow.